Okay, I want to give everyone a suggestion here. When If you're using the Google Classroom apps, when you go into Thesis Seminar, and when you're looking at the lectures, I'm going to go to uh, week three as an example. And if you open up the document, right, you certainly can view it here. But in this particular document and many others, I oftentimes will leave comments. And in order to access those comments, which do not appear at this view, you need to open it up uh, using Google Docs. At that point now, and again, this gets a little confusing, I know, because it uh, deals with separate apps. But notice now that there, there's text that is highlighted. So if you just simply select on the text, then the comment will pop up, right? So you can scroll down here, click on the text, and you can see my comments. And of course, you can reply if need be, but the main thing is that you can view some of my comments because I'll leave some, uh, especially this week uh, when you list or you go through the list of questions here under context of your study. I'll leave some comments that are very specific to us and uh, might clarify some of the things that are listed here. So remember that to access these comments, you'll have to open up the document in uh, Google Docs. And remember that whenever you go into Google Classroom, you open up the document, you're still in Google Classroom, but you're not able to edit the document until you click this uh, arrow here, this pop-up arrow, which then will open up the document in uh, Google Docs. You'll do the same thing whenever you go to edit uh, your reflections. Anytime you edit a document that you open up in Google Classroom, you'll need to open it up in Google Docs. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know.